In this video, we're going to look at some new features that we just added to AI WiseMind. So if you go to your campaigns and these are available on any of the campaign type, whether it's informational, Amazon or product review. But if you scroll down, you're going to notice there's a section here for affiliate links. And you, here you can paste your own affiliate link in if you want to use your own. And this is even available on the Amazon campaigns. And if you scroll on down, you're going to notice a section here for anchors. And this is where we added our own buttons that you can use and they will display in your articles. So this is the text that the buttons will read. You can choose how many ever ones of these you want to use. If you just want them to say add to cart, you can just do that. Normally, if it's a non Amazon site, I'll just put something like visit official website or add to cart or buy now, or I'll just use one like this. Then you can choose how many of these you want placed throughout your article. By default, it's three. That's what I prefer. It always puts one at the beginning right after the intro. It always puts one at the very end of the content, and then it'll randomly place one in the middle of the content. Now, if you were to do four, it would still do one after the intro, one at the very end, and then two randomly placed in the middle. And then you can choose from callers. So there is a large selection of different callers you can choose from. And if you want to see what these look like, you can click on this link right here. And if you look right down here, you also see an option to add your own anchor text or image buttons. So if you tick this box, it's going to allow you to add your own anchor text. So if you just want to use text instead of images, you can put something in here like buy from Amazon, check reviews, and you can add multiple per line. And so if you were to do three anchor text links up here, and if you had three different texts written on this and three different lines, it's going to use each one of those throughout your article. Now you can also paste a link in here to an image that you've created and you can use that instead. And that's normally what I do. In fact, I went to Canva and I created this banner here and I basically come up and copy this link. If you guys want to use this, feel free to. I'll put the link below this video, but please don't just paste this link in to use it in yours. Instead, right click on this, save the image to your computer and upload it to one of your websites and then go to your media section and copy the link from there and that's what you want to use. But you'll simply come back here and paste it in and then this is what it will use for all three of the anchor text links in the article and I'll show you examples of that. So I recently added two new posts to one of my websites. They're both Amazon product reviews. So to give you an example of what this looks like, all I did was I created a campaign for Amazon product reviews. I scrolled down here and I ticked this box that says get it on Amazon. My max anchor count was three. And then for the button collars for Amazon, you have two choices, either orange and black. Now, most people are probably going to use orange just because it's identified with Amazon. So it's more likely that people are going to click on those. So this is what I normally use. Now, if we jump over to this post and scroll down, you're going to see there's a button right here. There's another one here, and then one will be clear at the end of the content right here. Now these will automatically have your Amazon affiliate ID that you put here attached to each button. Now for the other post, I didn't use these. So I'm just going to go ahead and close this out. And what I did instead is I used my own image banner. So I tick this box and I don't want to use these default ones. So I'm going to delete them. I want to go back and grab the URL for my banner, paste it in here. And if we scroll down, you're going to see here's one of the banners. Here's another one. And then there's one clear at the end. So very easy to see, very noticeable. Once again, you can create your own for free on Canva. We're planning on adding more different variations of these buttons and banners to use over time. Now also I wanted to mention up here is that for the Amazon product reviews, you can override Amazon links with custom links. So if for some reason you don't want to use an Amazon link, but yet you want to create an Amazon product review and maybe you have another affiliate network that you are using to promote this product with, you can add that affiliate ID in here and it's going to use that instead of using Amazon's.